Okay, this video is a tribute to Dr. John McDougall. He just recently died a couple of days ago, about three days ago. Uh, he was the best doctor in the world, okay? Uh, you know, I study all the internet doctors. I read tons of books. I have a really boring life. And I can tell you, he was the best one. He's super smart. He graduated first in his class, and he had a very deep knowledge of, you know, both nutrition and medicine and disease pathophysiology. I can tell you, he's the best one. I, I studied them all. I, I know what's true and what's not true in very good detail. And he tells you the truth about nutrition. Um, he challenged a lot of things, you know. I kind of wondered, you know, did they maybe bump him off, okay? Because he had some influence. He had a lot of influence. Do you think dairy likes this guy, okay? Do you think the big meat industries like him? Do you think the oil industries like him? I don't think so. Not at all. Okay, so I kind of wondered if they bumped him off. You know, they can, they can bump somebody off pretty easy nowadays. They can use remote control if your car got a GPS, a recent one, crash into a wall. They got, they got a million and one tricks to bump people off. I actually think maybe that stuff about the weather was something they forced him to do because he refused to, you know, change what he would say about food. That was my guess, okay? He probably healed more people than anybody else in the world, except maybe Kempner. You know, Kempner saw a lot of patients in a big clinic setting for many years, but he's right up there with Kempner in terms of amount of people whose health he saved, okay? Regular doctors, they don't cure almost anybody, like internal medicine. They just give them pills. The patient never gets better, whereas he taught a lot of people the vegan diet and cured them. Um, he was a very robust guy. He's kind of tall, real physically fit. In his older years, he got real skinny. Something happened to him. I don't know what happened to him. He fell down the stairs or something. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he's sick. He just didn't tell anybody about it. But he looked pretty robust. His brain was totally sharp. You know, just up until his last video, I saw him, I don't know, about a month ago or something. He was totally mentally sharp. Most people are sort of in this decrepit, really slow brain phase the last decade or so is what I usually see. So he was not at all like that. So I don't know if there was anything wrong with him. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know yet. Um... So these are two of his great books. Start Solution, I think, is his best book. Uh, Digestive Tune-Up was also a great book. Um, here's a fun picture I, I made of him uh, with him boxing uh, Big Meat. You know, there's Coach Big Food and, and Big Pharma. And he said he's been the undisputed heavyweight champion of the nutrition world for a long time, ever since he's been in the game. He knows the nutrition liter be literature better than anybody else. Okay, there's Chef AJ there and there's some other... Uh, nutrition people. He actually helped me when I was younger. I got fat in my sort of early to mid 30s. Couldn't lose the weight for a couple years and I knew I had to focus on it so I started reading everything. And I show you this picture because this is when I was featured on his his uh, website as one of the star McDouglers. Learning about starch, that really helped me. You know, before I knew all about rebound, hypoglycemia and some other stuff and going 100% vegan. Um, here's a picture of Aeneas. So, when Troy was burned, do you remember the Trojan War between the ancient Greeks and the Trojans? And uh, the ancient Greeks used the Trojan horse, they were victorious, and they burnt Troy. Okay, so this is Aeneas, you know, the son of Anchises, and he's carrying his father out of burning Troy. There's his wife, and there's his son. And so basically, <coughs> what this is about, what this symbolizes, this painting, is the idea of maintaining civilization, maintaining the good things, the knowledge, the wisdom of your forefathers, okay? So that's what it symbolizes Anchise carrying him out. That also, if you think about, you know, the book Pinocchio, the greatest Italian book ever written, you know, he saved his father Geppetto. It was the same concept. It's an important concept. Well, Durant had said too, civilization does not just happen. If the adults don't teach the young people the population turns into barbarians. And so McDougal taught everybody the low-fat uh, vegan diet. And if that's not continued on, the, the other nutrition on the experts, most of them, in my opinion, are, are BS artists, and they're all promoting all this high-fat nonsense. Olive oil is bad for you. Omega-3s are a bad idea. Nuts and seeds are a bad idea. I just tell you that. I don't care. I don't get any sponsors. I don't have any money. Nobody, nobody wants to sponsor me. Believe me. Almost no one will even interview me. I'll tell you the truth. And, and this is the low, the low fat school of veganism. Most of these famous internet doctors, people say, oh, why don't you, you know, get interviewed with so-and-so or be on a panel with so-and-so. I'm like, you don't understand. People like me were not welcome with them. They're trying to promote this moderate to high fat diet with all this nonsense like soy and stuff. They don't like people like me and they don't like McDougal that much either. Despite all he's done, he's by far the best doctor in the world. How much publicity does he get? Yeah, I know he gets some, but nowhere near what he deserves, okay? How come he's not 
invited to speak in every medical school? How come every first year medical student is not required to read his book? Okay. You have, you have to get that through your head. You know, as long as you think the system is there to help you, you'll always be a chump. Once you realize the system hates you and you're lucky to have a few people like McDougal helping you out, then you'll start being able to think accurately. His book should be required reading for every single medical student, every pre-med student, um, but they're not. He's not in any of the books. I've never, ever seen his name in any of the books. And believe me, I plow through tons and tons of medical health and nutrition books. Oh, here's... Um, a uh, slide from one of my talks with at Chef AJ. Uh, there's Chef AJ, like the Statue of Liberty, Liberty there, the mama of the vegan community. Uh, that's yours truly. And there's uh, Dr. McDougall, Lighthouses of Information in a Stormy Sea. Um, some other things that he did, uh, he ran a nutrition therapy clinic uh, for decades and decades. He knew nutrition and medical literature better than anyone else. He told the truth. Uh, he was the best teacher of the internet doctors. He educated the public. He wrote, you know, excellent nutrition books. Uh, his nutrition newsletters are his, the best nutrition newsletters. Uh, he has lots of great nutrition videos, and he had a lot of great radio shows. He got in trouble on the radio shows because he told people you don't need to take all these supplements, and then the radio show fired him. Um, he challenged a lot of industries. He challenged dairy, meat, oil, cardiology and stenting, cardiothoracic surgery for heart surgery for cardiac atherosclerosis, coronary artery disease, CAD, diabetes, rheumatology, all that autoimmune disease stuff and leaky gut concepts. Uh, he challenged neurology with regard to causation of dementia, with regard to uh, multiple sclerosis causation and treatment. He challenged oncology with regard to theories of cancer causation and treatment. So, you know, you're pissing off a lot of powerful, rich people. That's why I wonder if they bumped him off because he's got a lot of influence. Uh, you know, I don't know what happened, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Because he looked too good when I saw him. He, yeah, he'd gotten all skinny. Something had happened to him, and I don't know what it was that happened to him, but he wasn't as, lo as robust as he was in his 60s. He was 77 years of age when he died. Oh, yeah, and I had this other uh, picture here. This is from one of my talks. Uh, you know, it's from Hamlet talking with his friend uh, Horatio. Alas, poor York, I knew him, a fellow of infinite jest. So... Anyways, okay, that's all I got for uh, slides about Dr. McDougall. But yeah, he was the best nutrition doctor in the world. It's very sorry and sad that he died. I don't know what happened to him. My advice would be learn as much as you can from him. You know, if they if they bump him off, they'll try to take his videos and stuff off the internet. So I would watch him while you can or read his books. Um, so anyways, uh, there it is.